Hi, this is Dennis, and I'd like to talk about the relationship between the charge cycle in a lead acid battery with the charge cycle in a Battleborn battery. Typically with a lead acid battery, there are multiple stages, the bulk stage, the absorption stage, and the float stage. Sometimes you have an equalization stage as well, or some sort of maintenance stage. For a lithium ion battery in general, there's only two stages that are required for charge, the constant current stage and the constant voltage stage. In the constant current stage, your charger will increase the voltage holding the current steady while the battery is taking the bulk of its charge. Once the maximum voltage is reached, then the charger will hold that voltage and the current will begin to drop as the battery gets topped off. Now for a lead acid battery, that constant voltage stage is typically called the absorption stage. But because a lead acid battery has a higher resistance, the charger will hit the absorption stage halfway through the charging cycle. So you could be bulk charging at the maximum current for a couple of hours, and then you'd have to wait another two or three hours in absorption while the battery is being topped off. By contrast, a Battleborn battery will stay in the constant current or bulk stage for almost the entire charge cycle. Once it hits the maximum voltage, in this case of around 14.4 volts, then the battery is basically charged. Now we request that you actually hold that voltage for a little while, about 15 to 20 minutes per battery in parallel. And it's not necessarily for the battery to get topped off, but it's for the battery to balance. At that stage, when we're at the maximum voltage, that's when the voltage of the cells start to separate. Once that voltage separation happens, we can tell which cell is more charged than the, than the other cells. Once we know that, then the battery management system can initiate a balancing cycle whereby the highest charged batteries are bled through a, through a resistor and then all of them can come back down to the same state of charge. So although there is no required absorption for a Battleborn battery, we use the absorption stage in conventional chargers to balance the cells.